Still Neymar on the attack now. Neymar does really well. Still Neymar, still Neymar, still Neymar, still Neymar. And he gets his first goal in a Manchester United shirt. Cleverly done to find Usman. Dembele, still Dembele. Now back to Neymar. Neymar does him there. That's absolutely brilliant. What a goal. Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome to episode number 44 of the Manchester United Career Mode Series. Today's episode, we've got some big games. The Manchester Derby at the Etihad Stadium in the Premier League. That is going to be one hell of a game. And it's also going to be Neymar's first Manchester Derby. We're also in the transfer window, so who knows, potentially maybe one last signing in this Manchester United career mode, maybe a few departures, anything can happen. Right now, we're in a very comfortable spot in the Premier League, a 13-point advantage. The focus right now for me is the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup, and we face Fulham in round four away from home. That should be a challenge. We do have a very good result against Palace from that first leg, so I'm confident we'll make it to the finals of the Carabao Cup. We've got some big games coming up soon. If you guys are enjoying this Manchester United career mode, drop a like on the video. I know I haven't been as consistent as I normally am with this Man United career mode. We used to upload this daily. And tell you what, let's bring back the daily uploads. Thousand likes and I'll get you guys an episode tomorrow itself. Go on there and drop a like on the video and while you're down there, make sure to subscribe for more FIFA 19 career mode content. Press conference time and we do have a lot of interesting stuff to talk about in today's episode and if you guys want to get involved as well, make sure to drop in your questions down in the comments section below. First question, not really a question though. Neymar should be given number 10 considering how good he is. And you know what, I do agree with that sentiment. Half of the comments of the last episode was literally about Neymar's kit number. And you know what, we're gonna do it. We're gonna give Neymar the number 10. I feel like he is kind of known for wearing number 10, especially since he's joined PSG. He wears that for Brazil as well, so we'll give him that number 10 kit number. And what we're gonna do with Rashford is, we could have either given him number 11, but 19 was the kit number he used to wear for Man United, and I feel like he deserves to wear that kit number again, so we're doing exactly that. And at the same time, number 11 is now free which means we're gonna give that to Usman Dembele just works out perfectly moving on please don't end this career mode we all love it I know man the support on this Manchester United career mode has just been unbelievable but after this third season there won't be much for us to achieve in this career mode and the best thing is for us to move on to another club and do a brand new career mode and try and accomplish things there and that's exactly what we're gonna be doing but the Manchester United career mode will return for FIFA for 20 and that's gonna be as epic as it gets so that's the plan but I just want to thank you all for your support on this United career mode it's genuinely been incredible to see the views the likes the comments and yeah let's end this series off in style there should be about seven to eight maybe nine episodes left and let's make it the best of the series next question play Chong ahead of Dembele but keep him as a sub in case Chong doesn't perform of course I'm not selling either of these two players but I still cannot decide between Chong or Dembele on who should be our first choice right winger and you know what that's the decision I want you guys to make because it's so close between them Chong has got 10 goals and 11 assists whereas Dembele has got 7 goals and 12 assists now this is going to be your decision click the i button on the top right of your screen to vote between either Dembele or Chong being our first choice don't worry none of them are being sold in this series also second part of the question don't you think playing both Pogba and Saul might weaken the defensive midfield honestly not both of these two players have got immense defensive stats I mean Pogba not so much but Saul definitely has got high tackling and high marking maybe not high marking but he's got good enough stats to be a proper CDM and I just love the way this midfield works it's so dynamic and that's why I'm pretty happy with it without Casemiro so that's that for today's press conference let's move on can't say I'm surprised at all Neymar wins the player of the episode award last episode on his debut for Manchester United he got himself an assist and after that in his Premier League debut he scored a brace two fantastic goals so you guys voted for him and Neymar Jr is your player of the episode for the first time in this series 
Today's episode might prove to be a bit of a long one as I want to try and get through the entire January trans window, deadline day and all these 5 games. So sit back and relax and let's get this started. A quick season goals update before we move any further. Positive signs for sure as the keeping it clean challenge is going really well. 10 clean sheets so far can't complain and we are still alive and well in the remaining 4 competitions. Mbappe is now on 19 goals, hopefully it starts scoring more for us to help us complete the golden boy challenge. Felix Chong and Greenwood have been really good, so I'm confident of completing the Future Looks Bright challenge soon. It is the Manchester derby and this is how I'm lining up the team. It's Man City versus Manchester United at the Etihad Stadium and I'm taking this game seriously. It's a game against our rivals and I absolutely want to beat them. Kylian Mbappe starts this one. You've got Neymar, Rashford, Dembele, Pogba, Saul. Basically, the strongest 11 I can put forward. Let's go into this one and get the job done. So that's the City team that we're up against. Gabriel Jesus Perotti instead of Sane. That's interesting. Raheem Sterling does start. It's a good midfield of Bernardo Silva and De Bruyne. It's a familiar City team, you know, especially that defense in midfield. Perotti instead of Sane is an interesting choice. But let's get this game started. Neymar's first Manchester derby. Can he score? This is not looking good. Gabriel Jesus pushing forward, shoots. De Gea makes a big save on the rebound. It's still Bernardo Silva. And the chance is gone as um, City did block it. City starting off positively. Looks like City are trying some sort of set piece. And it's almost worked. Raheem Sterling does score with the header. He wasn't even looking at goal. Fair play to Sterling. That was actually a very good instinctive header. And City have taken the lead in this derby. I wasn't expecting this to happen. I know it's at Etihad. And it was a fantastic set piece. I mean, look at that. It just worked out perfectly, of course. They had a bit of luck as the ball came off Saul. But it's 1-0 advantage to City. Let's see what happens going forwards now. We've got to respond. Mbappe plays this one to Marcus Rashford. Can we get back into the game? Rashford misses a chance. We still might have an opportunity. Here's Pogba. Pogba shoots, but that's straight towards Edison. Not good as City might have yet another opportunity. And they've scored. What's going on? We are collapsing at the Etihad Stadium. Gabriel Jesus scores and celebrates 2-0 Man City after just 21 minutes. Manchester United need to respond. We've managed to come back from situations like this before. But it's going to be difficult at the Etihad Stadium. Poor defending though. Pogba, what on earth was he doing there? And it's a big advantage for City now. Here goes Neymar now on the attack. We need him to perform. Brilliant pass to Marcus Rashford. Can he score? Yes, he can. Rashford gets us back into the game. It's 2-1 and game on. An assist for Neymar. That's what you get from having Neymar in that cam role. He can create. He can score. He can literally do everything. That was a fantastic assist from him. And you know what? Take nothing away from the finish from Marcus Rashford. It was well-timed. No chance for Edison. And it's game on. Here we go on the attack now. Usman Dembele. Imagine. Imagine if we can equalize before halftime. Dembele is getting caught up though. No way he isn't. And Dembele does convert. And we've equalized just before halftime. This Manchester United team is unbelievable. They go 2-0 down. They still fight back. Get the job done. And it's 2 all. And it's now even Stevens against, of course, City. Look at that for a finish as well from Dembele. Edison hasn't really m done much to help City out in that situation. But 2 all just before halftime. Second half is going to be interesting. It's now Neymar. Neymar releases this one to Kylian Mbappe. Chance for him. Shoots and scores. We've turned it around. 3-2 to Manchester United. Kylian Mbappe getting his 20th goal of the season. That'll definitely help out with our season goals. And he scored at the Etihad Stadium. Neymar with yet another assist. A decent pass. And the rest was all Kylian Mbappe. We've got the advantage now. Let's keep hold of it. Now here goes Kylian Mbappe on the attack. Just how quick is he, man? It's actually insane. Go on, Mbappe. Should score this. Mbappe shoots and Mbappe scores. City just cannot contain the likes of Kylian Mbappe, Neymar, Rashford and of course Usman Dembele. The pace of our attack is just unplayable. I mean, Vincent Kompany is what, 35, 34? in at this save right now he just cannot compete with Mbappe who scores his second of the game 4-2 now against City City looking to attack now with Bernardo Silva out wide to De Bruyne De Bruyne inside to Gabriel Jesus and that was a good goal from City and they're back in it what a classic Premier League game this is turning out to be 4-3 now to Manchester United at Etihad not much separating the two teams Kevin De Bruyne finding Perotti now. Chance for City once again. Skriniar does well. Oh no, maybe not. Marcelo shooting. That's a good save from David De Gea. Full time and it's job done for us in this one. It was a fantastic game of football. Exactly what the Premier League is all about. 4-3 at the Etihad Stadium and we get all three points. 
we are definitely marching on towards Pep Guardiola's 100 point record in the Premier League. Imagine if we can achieve that man. It'll be a tremendous way to end off the series and we are going for it. Three points secured against City. I normally don't simulate games in this Manchester United career mode but for today's episode we are going to simulate the second leg Carabao Cup semi-finals because we literally secured the result in the first leg by beating them 3-1 and we're doing the exact same thing in the second leg. 3-1 goals coming in from Chong, Ja Felix and Hernandez. The goals from Chong and Felix will definitely help our objective. So yeah, I guess this is the only game we're going to be simulating in the entirety of this series. I just wanted to get through this entire month of football in this episode itself. So that's why I sim this one. Honestly, what on earth were Liverpool thinking when they sent me this offer? A loan deal for Mason Greenwood? From Liverpool, why would I loan out one of Manchester United's very own Mason Greenwood out to Liverpool? Like, I mean, Liverpool, come on, you've got to be thinking when you're making moves. I mean, this is just embarrassing. Anyways, of course I'm going to reject it. So we are in the finals of the Carabao Cup for the first time in this Manchester United career mode. And we're going to be facing Chelsea in this one. Now, this is going to be one hell of a game. The finals should be either in the next episode or the episode after that as the Carabao Cup finals is earlier than the rest of the finals. Chelsea beat Cardiff 4-1 in aggregate and that's why I deserve to be there. Cracking game inbound guys against Chelsea. For now though, it's all about the magic of the FA Cup as we face Fulham in round 4. We're definitely favourites to knock them out and let's go ahead and do exactly that. I've made a few changes here and there for this one as it's the FA Cup and we're definitely heavy favourites. So Ja Felix gets the start, Martial starts, Neves and Awar are in the team but apart from that, it is still a very strong team. Onana is in goal for all the cup competitions and that is why he does start. So let's get right into this one against Fulham and knock them out. Anthony Martial there beats one brilliantly gone. Martial finding Jean Felix. We know he's got a good finesse shot on him, and that's brilliant. I feel like Jean Felix is the player that scores the most amount of finesse shots in this series. He's just got such a brilliant right foot, and he puts Manchester United into the lead against Fulham in this FA Cup game. A fantastic finish from the young Portuguese man. Have a look at that. Martial did really well to get the ball to Jean Felix, but then the finish was just gorgeous. We now have the advantage in this one. Mbappe now, out wide to Anthony Martial, we could be making it 2-0 now and we've done exactly that, Anthony Martial with a lethal finish, top right corner, I mean there was literally one place he could put that ball in from that situation and he did exactly that, top bins from Martial, he's really trying to get back his spot in the first team and if he keeps performing like this, he's definitely going to earn that, look at that for a finish from Anthony Martial, off the crossbar and in, spreads it out wide to Martial, now another cross coming into killing Mbappe and it's too easy for Manchester United. What a beautiful header that was from Mbappe and the overall build-up play for this goal was sensational as well. Fulham cannot keep up with this United attack. Look at that again. Dembele spreading it out wide to Martial, gets it onto his right foot, plays it back in and Mbappe wrestles with the defender, gets ahead of him and the header was perfect. Mbappe scores yet another goal and it's 3-0 against Fulham in the first half itself. Martial going yet again on the attack. He's having a brilliant game so far. He's literally destroyed this Fulham defence in this one. Cut back into Mbappe. Now it's Awar on the rebound and it's 4-0. What even is going on in this one? Fulham, just, just, they've just collapsed in this one. Like, they've barely created anything going forwards and we've literally scored from every attack and we're creating chances so easily. Martial is just running ragged in this one. And again, a brilliant goal there from Alward. 4-0, job done already. Usman Dembele now, chance for him to put in a good ball. That's a decent ball played in and Samuel Umtiti joins the party. Dembele getting the assist and Umtiti with the header. 5-0 in the first half. This game could go double digits by the end of it. I know it's only Fulham, but it's still impressive to see us scoring goals for fun like this. Look at that, Dembele with the Ronaldo chop to open up space. Perfect cross and Umtiti with a brilliant header. 5-0 in the first half, that's insane. Good ball played in and my god, we've conceded there. I really thought Dalot would be able to clear that from, you know, the goal line. But fair play, Fulham have got themselves one back, but... 
It's still game done and dusted. I mean, they're not going to score four in the second half. Mbappe beats one. Still killing Mbappe. Utilizing step overs really well. Still Mbappe. This is absolutely brilliant from killing Mbappe. He's just destroyed this Fulham defense there. Step over after step over there. And the Fulham defense didn't know what to do. They didn't have any clue whether to, you know, go forward, put in the tackle. And that number 15 in the Fulham shirt just got absolutely melted there by Kylian Mbappe who scores yet again in this one what a finesse shot as well but more than the goal itself it was the way he got into that position Mbappe is finally coming into his own in this Manchester United career mode and with Champions League football coming up in the next episode couldn't have been a better time. This is looking dangerous. There's a chance for Markovic. I mean, why am I so bad defensively? Like, honestly, we just have to concede a goal in every other game. It's so frustrating. But anyway, still 6-2. We still have a very good lead, but just frustrated that we conceded. Oh, Mbappe using his pace brilliantly. Out wide to Anthony Martial now. Still Martial finds Mbappe who shoots and he gets his hat-trick. I think it's his first hat-trick in a Manchester United shirt. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Kylian Mbappe has made it 7-2 against Fulham. What a finish this was, man. Have a look at that. Martial does well here to, you know, get the ball back to, of course, Mbappe. But then near post, no chance for Fulham. I mean, Fulham... It seems like I'm playing against a semi-professional football club because they cannot contain our team at all. 7-2 now. Another very impressive performance, this time against Fulham in the FA Cup, winning 7-2. What an impressive game this was. Kylian Mbappe taking the match ball away. But the most important thing is that we are through to the next round of the FA Cup. Good to see Mbappe score a hat-trick because that definitely will help us with the objectives. Interestingly enough, even though Casemiro is on the transfer list and has been for a while, we haven't received a single offer for him, which is surprising because he's 28, he's not going to go down in his overall anytime soon, and he's 90 rated, so that's extremely surprising. But if we cannot sell Casemiro, I'll probably end up using him here and there in games where I need to, maybe as a super sub in case we are leading in a difficult game. That might be a great option, so... That's the plan for Casemiro, at least for now. We'll see how things go, depending on whether we get offers for him or not. For now, though, we've got an away game against West Ham in the Premier League. Let's get the win. So up next, we've got West Ham away from home. Now, for those watching this series since the start, you'll know that we have a bit of a rivalry with West Ham. They're the team that knocked us out from cup competitions earlier on. We did knock them out in the Carabao Cup, and games against them are always feisty, and they always seem to score against me. You know, Felipe Anderson is like the player that always scores against me, so it's always fun playing against them, but I really want to beat them. So I've gone with the strong team, made a few changes as well, like bringing in Chong. Hopefully, he can score to help us with the objectives but apart from that Mbappe, Neymar, Pogba all of them start let's get the win it's West Ham on the attack and it's that man Felipe Anderson plays this one through to Manuel Lanzini but De Gea makes a good save I told you guys about the threat of Felipe Anderson he always delivers against us and West Ham had a good chance there Marega inside to Yarmolenko now Lanzini shoots and again West Ham having an opportunity De Gea saving us there Good save. Corner for West Ham. Yarmolenko puts it in. Ogbonna's header saved by De Gea. He's made, what, three saves in the space of 10 minutes? West Ham piling on the pressure up against us. West Ham might have another chance and this time they've scored with Marega. You know what? Completely deserved because West Ham have dominated us in these first 12 minutes and I'm not enjoying this at all. We need to respond. No way am I accepting a defeat to West Ham. Here's now Chong on the attack. What can Chong do from here? Brings it inside. Go on Chong. Still Chong. Chong shoots. And oh my god is that brilliant from Chong. We needed to see Chong scoring for of course the objectives. And apart from that he's helped us out by equalizing against West Ham. I always enjoy scoring against them and Chong has done exactly that. One all and it's game on. A fantastic finish as well from Chong. Again, step overs seem to work so well in FIFA 19. Really enjoy using them. I think it took a slight nick off Declan Rice. But anyways, good goal from Chong. Saul now in behind the kill in Mbappe. What an opportunity for us once again. Still Mbappe. Mbappe gets it inside, shoots and scores. Mbappe is in the form of his life. We've been criticizing him for not scoring enough for us this season, but he is finally doing exactly that. Goals are coming in thick and fast from killing Mbappe. Have a look at this for a goal. The stop and turn, moved inside, and then the finesse shot with his weaker left foot. Just perfection. We probably don't deserve to be in the lead before half time in this one. 
but you know what i'll take it against west ham a 2-1 advantage let's see what the second half brings oh brilliantly done to find killing mbappe a cheeky pass there from him now it's killing mbappe Mbappe bringing it inside, releases it to Neymar, it's just too easy, the link-up play between Neymar and Kylian Mbappe is just brilliant, Mbappe with the assist and Neymar with the goal and it's 3-1 Manchester United, I think that's Neymar's third Premier League goal of the season already, brilliant. Finds Neymar, what can Neymar do from here, still Neymar should score this, does score this, we are destroying West Ham now, the floodgates have opened as Neymar bags his second goal of the game, can he get himself his first Premier League hat-trick ever in this one there's of course enough time left for that we'll see what happens but 60 minutes gone in this one 4-1 against West Ham can't complain our attacking play this season has been unbelievable man like it's actually insane how good we are going forwards not good or Biang shoots and West Ham get themselves one back it's still 4-2 we still have a very good advantage but you know what fair play to Obiang that was a very good strike from outside the box doesn't look like we're going to get a clean sheet in this episode, by the way of things. Looks like West Ham are no longer our bogey team as we dismantle them 4-2. A great game of football. We were superb going forwards. A bit dodgy defensively, but when you score four goals in a game, you're of course going to win. And that's exactly what happened. We are marching on towards the 100-point goal that we've set for ourselves. Imagine if we can do it, man. That's what I'm looking forward to doing in the Premier League this season. Good game and good win. So we finally have received a transfer offer for Casemiro, but it's from Man City. Like, honestly, are you kidding me? The last thing I want to do is sell Casemiro to a club like City and improve their team. So we're going to reject it and hopefully we'll get an offer from a better club. Otherwise, I'm happy to keep Casemiro. Okay, is this some sort of a joke? Transfer offer for Casemiro? Why would I want to sell him to Liverpool? I know 73 million is good money, but I'm not interested in the money. And last thing I want to do is improve Liverpool's team. I mean, I'm not interested in selling any of my world-class players to either Liverpool or Man City so we'll continue waiting for another offer. I have made a few changes because of fitness reasons for this one. Neves and Awad get some game time but I'm still starting the likes of Neymar and Mbappe. Anthony Martial starts ahead of Rashford because he's been in great form. Manolas and Dalot get a game as well. De Gea captains the team. Let's get right into it. And we've got Neymar on the attack again. The trickery has just been unbelievable. Neymar inside to Mbappe. Now Martial back to Mbappe. Flicks it once. Oh, brilliant. But uh, wait, we just received a penalty for that. I'll take it. But I mean, EA, you've got to improve the penalty decision system because in my opinion that just wasn't a penalty anyways chance for us to score it's gonna be Mbappe but can he convert it's Kylian Mbappe the man for the job can he convert this penalty go on Mbappe put this in oh that's a decent penalty there from Kylian Mbappe 1-0 up Manchester United and Mbappe scores yet another goal I think he scored what six or seven goals in today's episode now Neymar go on Neymar what can Neymar do? Strikes it so well off the crossbar. That would have been a contender for goal of the season. But man, it would have been brilliant to score that. Unfortunately though, off the crossbar. But the power he got behind that. I timed it well as well. But I ah, would have loved to see that go in. Get it away. Oh my god, what? Manolas with an own goal. And Newcastle have equalised. I think that's the first time this season we've scored an own goal. Coming from Manlas himself. Ruben Neves. Now Neymar in behind to Usman. Dembele is in a great spot to score. And he does score. We've finally taken the lead against Newcastle United. Dembele wasn't missing that. Neymar gets himself yet another assist. And Manchester United in the lead. Have a look at that though. Ruben Neves winning the ball back. Finds Neymar. And again, first time pass out wide to Dembele. And a brilliant finish from the Frenchman. Oh my god, the chaos at the back. When that shot hit the crossbar, I was literally stunned for a minute. I thought it was definitely going to go in, but then on the rebound, they did score. Two really crappy goals coming in from Newcastle. And he's going and celebrating with Rafa Benitez, who's kind of a Liverpool legend, which is frustrating, but two all. And I suppose it's freaking game on now, man. Newcastle again on the attack now, looking to maybe score the third of this one, and they have Almiron with the goal. Newcastle lead 3-0. I wasn't expecting this, especially at Old Trafford, and this was actually good football. This wasn't a crappy goal at all. Have a look at this. It was good build-up play. Look at that. Beating Mount last night, he wasn't even there with the stepovers. A good pass inside. The leave from that Newcastle player there was superb, and then the goal, brilliant. 
We've got enough time though to get back into this one. About 15 minutes and I know we can. Here goes Mbappe. What kind of defending is this from kickoff? Like look at the space Mbappe's got here. Inside to Awad. Now it's Anthony Martial who's already scored. And straight from kickoff we've made it 3 all. Absolutely embarrassing defending from Newcastle. Straight from kickoff. 3 all. And there's enough time for us to get the winner as well. Not good as Almiron has a chance. De Gea makes a great save. Manolas. Oh that's a poor clearance and... Well, Newcastle have taken complete advantage. It's been a goal fest in a today's episode. Like, every game has been high scoring. And Teixeira takes advantage and makes it 4-3 for Newcastle. I'm not sure we've got enough time to make the comeback. But Manolas has had probably the worst game any player has had in this series. Like an own goal, giving the ball straight back to our opponent. And what on earth was he doing there? My goodness. Full time in this one and we've actually lost our second Premier League game of the season. Only our second Premier League game of the season. You know what? Sometimes you lose games, sometimes you win. And the way we've played this season, losing a game against Newcastle isn't going to cost us much. So, you know what? I'm not going to criticise anyone. It was a tough game and this happens sometimes. Did this happen? Manolas has just signed for Barcelona on a pre-contract deal. He's just gone ahead and put in his worst performance ever in a Manchester United shirt. And then he's joined Barcelona the next day. Like, that's not professional. I mean, it's I know it's hilarious, but come on. Anyways, thankfully, we're only doing three seasons. Otherwise, I'd be really furious. But Manolas can join Barcelona because there's anyway not going to be a fourth season with United. Looking at some of the top deals in this window. Neymar to United, of course. The biggest transfer. Naby Keita to Real Madrid for £90 million. And Dani Caballos to AC Milan. And that's it. Transfer deadline day over. And we are now stuck with the squad we have at our disposal. Unfortunately, we couldn't sell Casemiro. He's also disappointed with the game time he's getting, but he's just going to have to adjust. This is the team that we've got until the end of the season, until the end of the series. And hopefully we can win every trophy possible with this squad. It's definitely more than capable enough to do so. So in the FA Cup in our next round, we've drawn West Ham. It just had to be them, man. I mean, we continue our rivalry with them in cup competitions. And I'd love to knock them out again. This season, we've knocked them out from the Carabao Cup. And we've got another opportunity to do so in the FA Cup. Premier League, though, we're balling out. Next episode, though, we've got some good games coming up. Champions League, round of 16, first leg. That should be fun. And, of course, West Ham in the FA Cup's round of 16. So, four games again in the next episode. And soon, we're going to have the Carabao Cup final against Chelsea so a lot to look forward to if you guys want the episode tomorrow itself y'all know what to do a like in the video thousand likes gets you the episode tomorrow itself we've actually made incredible progress with our season goals in today's episode I mean clean sheets wise probably not we're only on 10 but Kylian Mbappe went from 19 to 26 goals in a single episode how insane is that and now I feel like the golden boy challenge we'll be able to complete that also 24 goals between Felix Chong and Greenwood. We should be done with that objective very soon. So not a bad episode for our season goals. Before we end off the episode, it is time for you guys to vote for your informed player of the episode. I'm not surprised with the nominees for today. Neymar getting in on the nominations. He had a brilliant episode. A lot of goals, a lot of assists, and he continues to deliver in that cam role. Your second nominee, Kylian Mbappe. I mean, you score seven goals in a single episode, a hat-trick as well. You definitely need to get nominated. So Neymar and Mbappe are your options. Make sure to click the i button on the top right of your screen to vote for either of them. And that's that for today's episode. I genuinely can't wait for the next one, man, as Kylian Mbappe wins the player of the month award next episode with champions league football returning it should be a lot of fun cup action as well and yeah if you guys enjoyed today's episode a like would be greatly appreciated make sure to subscribe for more fifa 19 career mode content and i shall see you guys next time